welcome to me, Dazblade, and my adventures in Minecraft. Okay, um, so I've made a bit of work on this tower. Um, I've designed the first three sections of it. And these three sections will be repeated all the way upwards. Um, not sure about this uh, extra bit of design here, though. This, um, this is stripped hope wood there. I'm thinking of doing that on all the panels, um, but I haven't made my mind up yet. But I think for the first part of this uh, building, this tower needs to be around 42 blocks high. So that'll be, so each uh, three pattern section is basically one section of three. And I'm gonna need a total of 14 of these sections going upwards to um, accommodate the first building. That's if my maths are correct. Um, I, really, I really hope my maths are correct. I might have got it totally wrong. Um, so I think the first first bit is to um, get this building built up, or this tower built up, should I say. Um, get it built up to uh, 14 sections, 14 sections. You know one section equals the three sets of panels so okay let's um let's get to work on that and uh we'll take it from there okay my maths was wrong <laughs> so if you look behind me you can see i've got two sections completed now each section comprises of three parts so there's two sections so I can't remember what I said last time. Was it like 14 sections? Anyway, that's nonsense. I need one more section of three. So three sections will give me the full height of the uh, the first structure. So that's 12. Each section is 12 blocks high. So that's 12, 24, 36. So that should be right this time. Okay. I'm keeping my fingers crossed I got that right. Um, also, I decided to incorporate uh, magma blocks and glowstone into the design. But then I realised I'm going to need loads of them. So, what I've done is I've created a temporary portal because I already have ideas of where I want the uh, main portal to go. So I've created this temporary portal, which will be ripped down as soon as I've um, as I've got all the blocks that I need. Now, the strange thing about this temporary portal is that when I went into the nether, I was in midair. Uh, now, I was going to build a, a, a little safe building around it anyway, stay protected and have some chests in there to store all my stuff but I wasn't I wasn't counting on this thing being suspended in midair so that took some time to um, to build that uh, got my gold uh, pants on or golden trousers on so that should um, give me a bit of protection and we spawned the uh, never portal I think it's sort of like um, on the border of a basalt uh, biome um, with another biome, which I'm not sure what's called. I can't remember. So, um, okay. So, let's just uh, get back into normal view each. And let's uh, just go through the portal. I'll show you what we have. It does make a lot of noise, doesn't it? So, okay, so here's my little safe area. Um, slabs on the floor, slabs at the top, hopefully to stop spawns. Um, uh, three chests, one for magnet blocks, one for quartz, and one for glowstone. And also another chest for any other things I might uh, decide to get. For instance, Blackstone 
is a beautiful block. So I might um, see if I can get a shed load of black stone. But in the meantime, let's just show you outside. Look at this nonsense. How nonsense is this? How bad is it? Is this ludicrous or what? Look at it. I'm in midair. But as the good thing about it is that we've got a healthy start of glowstone blocks, uh, magma blocks. Um, I don't see much quartz at the moment, but we can go mining for quartz anyway. Um, we could get shed loads of that stuff. So, yeah. <laughs> Not great, but it's um it's a start so i'm gonna go ahead and spend some time uh, gathering some resources and i'll get back to you as soon as i can okay so we've uh, spent many hours down here in the lava um, but we've still got quite a bit to go to get all the resources we need now when i was up there i saw that there was lots of what look like quartz and crystals not crystal what am i talking about crystals quartz and um gold nuggets and more glowstone and so on more even more magna blocks as well so that's the direction we're going to be uh doing it and we'll have a look so. hey ho hey ho off on an adventure we go Looking good as we should. Hey ho, hey ho, hey ho, hey ho. Right. Okay. Before I go any further, you might be wondering what this is if you've not seen it before. I'm worried about that cast. What? Die, Gast! <laughs> I can't hit him! This is mental. Got ya. Right. Okay. Speaking of gas, um, I've actually managed to collect a few uh, gas tears as well. So they'll come in handy. But anyway, back to this. What's this? This is known as a scumpus. And it's based on an idea by another crafter on YouTube called Skizzle Man. Now, I don't know if he fully invented it, originally invented it, but I'm giving him credit for it because he's the first one that I saw um, using this method. So basically what you do, you make sure you use a block or blocks that are not native to the environment that you happen to be in or that you happen to be exploring. So, for example, we're in the Never. So my choice of um, blocks to use is cobblestone and or deer because they stand out like a sore thumb in the Never because they don't naturally generate in the Never. So how does it work, you may ask? Well, at, at nice timely intervals, you want to build one of these and you want to have a torch facing back in the direction that you came from not facing forward facing back to the direction you come from so with this one as you can see it's facing back there because that's the direction i came from and it also happens to be where the little shed is that i built so if i'd come from that direction for example the torch would be there so you can cover every direction, you can even cover um, diagonal directions. So for instance, if I came from over there, I'd have a torch there and a torch there, which would signal to go that way, in that direction. If I wanted to go um, up, so for example, I need to go up to get back where I came from, you basically put a torch on every face, so one, two, three, four, and then the torch on top. And that will indicate to go upwards. You might maybe 
miss this block here so it looks like the blocks floating in here maybe um, possibly anyway and if you want to go down it's very similar but you just do the opposite with the torches all around and then torch at the bottom on the bottom block so you know you need to go down but anyway um, the scuppers absolute great idea I mean if he didn't come up with the actual idea he, he definitely came up with the naming um, of this thing the scumpus um, so yeah um, created by a crafter called Skizzleman I recommend you go and check him out he is very entertaining always get good vibes from watching his videos and he, you know he's quite a funny dude as well so yeah anyway let's get back to where we want to go so if I get down here and oh look another scumpus uh, as you might be able to see I've dug up loads and loads of magma blocks from here and um, filled in loads of lava as you can see it never happened and so on but yeah I got loads oh before um, before we actually go off adventuring I did actually build um, a harvesting zone for Endermen because when I was actually over here um, I noticed some Endermen spawning so I built this little um, two-eye uh, little base so that they um, obviously Endermen are free, free box eye so they can't get through there I can just stand here and go bang 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 um, which yeah, it seemed like a good idea at the time, but I don't think I'll probably get much use. Oh, actually saying that, there's one over there. But I did actually die here um, at least once, and I thought I'd, um, I thought I'd lost all my stuff. Uh, but fortunately, I believe when you're not in the never, it's not actually generated, is it? So until you actually cross into the never... That's when um, the never generates and your items will regenerate. So it'll give you is it five minutes, I believe, from that moment onwards. So you could spend a lot of time in the overworld before you even decide to come back in the never to get your stuff. But yeah, I got it all. Anyway, I think we're going to have to take care of this guy, aren't we? Where is he? Come on, Bogalogs. Come on. Ooh, there's a good boy. Come on. Come on. Come and play. Enderman, come out to play, yay. Come out to play, Enderman. Oh, I'm going to give me a mushroom, but not an enderpearl. So nice of you. Don't want that mushroom. To get rid of that later. And right, okay, nah. Lost my bearings. Where was I supposed to be going? Shall we go? Um, actually, let's see if we can get in. He drops something nice. My God, where's all these macros coming from? I don't like it. Run away! Ah, quad box. Seal. Go fetch. Right. Okay. I shall get back to you as soon as I can. Probably be many more hours. As I say, I spent many, many hours here already. Um, and it's not a nice place to be, to be fair. So I shall catch you soon. Okay, after many, 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 many hours, uh, I think I must must have enough resources now. I didn't quite fill up all the double chests like I wanted to. Um, I've already transported most of it um, back to base. Uh, just got to clear up this chest. And um, uh, once we get back to base, I shall uh, show you what we achieved, what we got out of all this. Uh, not a bad all, but so many hours. It's just unreal. 
I mean, the amount of hours put in doesn't reflect retail. That is for sure. So, let's um, just get this stuff back. Um, like I said, I'm deleting the, uh, destroying the uh, temporary portal. So, we won't be coming back here again. But, I may as well collect some of these finger me pops. No point in uh, wasting good torches, is there? Let's uh, take them back with us. Um. 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 Yeah, clocks don't work in the never. I never knew that. I always thought they would work. So that was uh, pretty much a waste of time. But we should take that, shall we? Thing. We should leave the item thing. Let's just get all these torches. Now, a really bad thing is that even added more time to this whole uh, adventure, if you like, um, is the fact that when I go through this portal, it creates a new portal on the other side of the river from where my base is. It doesn't take me back to my own portal. Now, when I come through from my base, through that portal, that brings me right here. So I don't know why they were unlinking. Um, I've never experienced this before. Um, could be a bedrock bug. Could be something else I might have um, done without realizing that's caused it to happen, but you'll see. Anyway, let's just get these lights and let's uh, let's get home I'm so excited to get started back on this um, building project I'm just so glad so here we are look oh 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 base my original portal why has it created a new portal and brought me over here? Now, the good thing about this, well, oh, I say good thing, the only positive thing about this is I've managed to get over a stack and a half of obsidian. So, that's nice, I suppose. Just get this all chopped up. Broken down. Come on, come on. I'm to get back to the base and just show you what's going on. Well, now I've just realised I can't pick it up, can I? Um, um, what can I well, that's... And this last bag's into that noise. Jump back over here and pick that back up again, can I? The big deal. The obsidian takes precedence, I think. Right, okay, let's... Uh, our way back to the other side of the river. And should be good to go. Get started on this project at last. Well, not get started, but get it going and at least get the first uh, at least get the first bottom structure back to the never for quite some time. This is going. Oh man, why is it taking so long? Why does obsidian take so long? Not long, is it? Bonus, all this uh, lovely blackstone, which is a great block for building, it just looks awesome. 
barely think it looks awesome. Mm. Well, let's have a look what we've got. In fact, let's just have a quick snap. And uh, yeah, let's, <laughs> let's just go down. If I'm going to show you, don't worry. Uh, nothing exciting. Now, like I say, I, did, I didn't fill up um, the double chests like I wanted to, but the amount of hours put in, the return is not too bad. So, got all this uh, new ports, glowstone, yeah, magma, again. Not too bad, I guess, but at least, or at least I'm hoping I should have enough to do what I need to do with it. So we should uh, look at it here. Um, so yeah, we've got the two sections, two sections done. As I say, we just need one more section. Each section is three parts. One, two, three. So that's the end of the first section. One, two, three. End of the second section. So the third section will make it 36 blocks high. And that should be the top, the first structure, which will also be the floor of a um, interim structure. Going to build something here which will be 12 blocks high before we start the next structure on the top of that. So, but before we do any of that, well, we'll get the next section, um, we'll get the next section of this column or pillar, whatever you want to call it, we'll get that concluded. But then before I start building this uh, main structure, as you can see, I've kind of mapped it out here. Before I do any of that, because I don't want to be messing about with the floor after the structure's done. So I'm going to design all the floor. I've got an idea of how I want this floor to look um, inside the building. I'm going to do all that before I even start the building. So the floor will be the next thing to do. So we'll get on with that. Um, and yeah. And now the fun begins. Well, I say fun. <laughs> I've got to get this lighting um, sorted out, haven't we, before we start um, adding more sections. So, there we go. I don't know whether I'm going to be leaving these steps in or not, but I haven't decided really fully what I'm going to be doing inside here, if anything. You know, I mean, I might just uh, leave the steps in and go. To... Ah, ah, oh! <laughs> I meant to do that. Of course I did. I think this lighting might look um, quite good when it's done. I'm, I'm hoping it does anyway. If it don't, it might be back to the uh, back to the drawing board. Why does it keep knocking out two blocks? <laughs> my pick's too powerful, and my I just use my bare hands. Not powerful enough. Guess I could make a less powerful stone pick, maybe. Stop um, chopping up multiple blocks. Yeah. No, they'll still be on the ledge available. I mean, I think it's going to be. Right. I'm, I weren't sure, you know, with the sun, whether the um, frog lights might be a better option. 
there's three different colours, isn't there? And I'm sure there's a, a colour that's similar to um, similar a similar shade to sandstone, and it, that might actually blend in better. But I guess we'll have to say. I mean, if I ever do get round to making some kind of frog farm, then I guess that's an option. Well, let's just get these. Uh, let's get these blocks. Can't help it, this he kicks in every time. And you're like, up and down, up and down. Just <laughs> just finish it, just complete it. Let's get these lights put into place. Gosh darn it. Seem to be getting a bit better now with a pick. <laughs> he says, <laughs> I still got that one out. And I'm, I'm just basically just kind of like, slightly tapping it as kind of like in a quick fashion so that it does it as I don't know gentle as possible I guess I'm gonna go just these last four panels um, but, hmm, yeah getting a bit better with the um, the pick now I think there's still gonna be quite a few uh, Blocks stranded out there on the on the you know on the like the upside down stairs the ledges that come out so we'll have to get that get down there and get them picked up. That was nice. Come on, get in there. One more to do. We still got the um the other section to do as well to um you know like i said before it's going to be three sections which will give us the total height of the structure but then i'm going to have like a, um, a section which will be sort of like um uh, oh, what's the words i'm looking for words uh <laughs> let's just get these blocks picked up i think that's just what's throwing me off um blocks all over the place and I'm trying to uh, um, explain what's going on and I totally forgot what I was talking about now so even though it's only been a few seconds wow that is um, that's terrible what was I talking about <laughs> oh dear I don't know well I do I do know what I was talking about I was talking about these um these lights, where are we? Yeah. That was a pause there, because I totally lost my thread, totally lost the thread, but we seem to have the, uh, I think, ah! <laughs> oh, God. I need to watch what I'm doing. I wonder if I should double... No, nah, it looks silly, wouldn't it, if I doubled up the stairs? Anyway, we've still got some um, bloke blocks floating around, so let's try some um, superhero tricks, I think. Some manoeuvring, dropping, and moving and dropping and moving. Hopefully... Okay, so 
We've got all the lights in place. Let's have a quick butcher's look. <laughs> butcher's hook. <laughs> look. Let's have a look. Mm. I mean, it looks all right, I guess. But I don't know. Still, uh, still considering um, the frog lights, but I guess that's an issue for future Daz. Yeah. Uh, we'll just uh, carry on. So, I mean, I've got it at the main um, building, um, sort of like mapped out, as, as you can see, um, with various blocks that are in place. Um, but before um, before I start um, with any other sections. Oh, sections. That's what I was talking about, wasn't it, when I lost my words. Remember? Words. Yeah, I was talking about the sections. Basically, there's going to be like a, a middle section between the two structures. Uh, I'm going to need a lot of um, quartz and quite a lot of glass uh, to do that uh, middle section. Um, but anyway, before I do get back to... Before I get back to... The, um, building that section I want to get all the floor uh, completed um, because then it'll be a lot easier as I'm building the structure over the top of it um, the floor will already be in place and you know I won't have to worry about um, getting into nooks and crannies and um, you know any any sort of like guesswork, you know, it'll be one. The floor will be one hundred percent complete, and it will be one hundred percent how I want it to look before um, any of the building starts. So, um, the first thing with, with the floor that I want to do, um, just getting rid of these um, temporary blocks that are in place. Um, I'm going to do two rows of glow slap uh, gl glow stick <laughs> wow i am so struggling with my words today what is the matter with me <laughs> anyway yeah so we'll have two rows of uh glowstone so we're going two down um now this part where we're going two down where the floor is actually going to be um we're not going to be doing the same on the outside so on on the outside it will um, you know, so it's, it'll it'll still look um, it'll still look symmetrical. It'll still look proportional, um, and then you won't notice it. It's going two blocks down until you actually get inside. But again, when the inside is complete, that will look um, all proportional and all symmetrical too. So let's crack on with this. <laughs> As you can see, we have these um, diagonal lines um, going from each of the... Well, they will be going from each of the four corners. Um, and I'm sure, as you can guess, what it's going to be. It's going to be... It's going to be kind of like four triangular sections to the floor. And, um, and then we're going to add some detail into that. Okay, so that's all we have time for for today, and I shall catch you in the next one. Bye!